I'm Kate Mitchell, partner at Scale Venture Partners and part of the Accelerator uh, Group with Wall Street Journal. And I'm Sharon Woodbar, and I'm also a partner here at Scale Venture Partners. Uh, this is another webcast mentoring uh, session between Scale Venture Partners and Litepoint Security, which we're very excited about. We enjoyed the first one. I'm Vili Gonzalez, co-founder and CEO of uh, Lightpoint Security, and uh, we also really enjoyed our first uh, spreecast with you guys. And I'm Bo Atkins. I'm the CEO of Lightpoint Security. Um, so we applied for the uh, the loan that we discussed uh, before. So we are uh, application is in. I think we have a presentation to do on, on the 23rd. Yep, we're scheduled for that. Um, so we've got to do prepare preparations for that. Make sure everything's everything's good and we can present the financials like we like we need to. Maybe describe, this is from the state of Maryland, and just a quick, for folks that might just be picking up now, just a quick summary of what you're applying for. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's a loan program, but it was really um, designed with um, future investment in mind for startups, for uh, high growth startups. So it, it, it's really designed to be more of an investment than anything else, and uh, the terms are really good. It's um, a low interest rate. It, um, they give you up to $250,000, um, and you have uh, up to two years to start paying it back. At that point, you would just pay back 10% of whatever it was that you um, borrowed. So if you borrowed 100K, you would take, you know, you'd just pay back $10,000. And then after that point, you would have maybe about four or five years to pay back the actual principal um, on a monthly basis. But you only have to pay back That's more investment. Yeah, yeah, and there's, you know, it's like no, uh, no personal guarantee um, or anything like that. So, and it's it, and so what's it was, the next step? Um, so now we have a um, scheduled on the 23rd, a basically a presentation. So it's um, going to be basically like an investor pitch kind of thing. So we have a slide deck. We have to prepare financials um, and give them information about our company. And um, they have a small pot of money. This is the first year they're doing it, so they have a small pot of money. There's a lot of competition, as you can imagine, for, for this, this particular program. Um, so we have to present, and then the uh, selection committee will make a decision and, and pick. I think they have enough money for about four or five companies. And does the, does the state look for any form of collateral, meaning you have to pledge IP or any other assets of the company? No, nothing at all. Awesome. Nothing. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. And are you? Do you have people that bounce your ideas off of with respect to your presentation? Others who presented before? Any other investors? Yeah. So we have a. Actually, we scheduled this already through our incubator. Um, we scheduled a, a practice pitch with some people that have already raised funding and some of our mentors, and they're they're going to give us feedback on. Um, what things we, we, you know, we need to improve before our, our session. And, and we're going to try and fit in two of these, actually, if we can, if we have the time. That's a very smart move. That's the best thing you can do. And if there's anything we can do to help with that, uh, you know, offline, et cetera, I'd be happy to. But that's exactly Great. what any startup should do before they pitch for debt or equity. Good job. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably ping you guys then and, and <laughs> send you our information to see what you guys think. Thank you. <laughs> so we have been talking to a lot of uh, various investors lately and some of them say you know for an early stage investment convertible debt is the way to go and we've had others say that they would never dream of doing convertible debt because it leaves them completely at the mercy of the follow-on investor um, so we wanted to, to get an idea of, of your point of view um, when does it make sense to look for a convertible debt when does it not and any things that we should you know any red flags or things that we should look out for sure so the it depends a lot on how much you're looking to raise as a convertible note and what your fundraising plans are after that. So where it can get really sticky is if you raise a relatively large amount of capital in a convertible note, meaning say $2 million. Mm. Most angels are looking to have a cap on the price that the um, note can convert into. So say raise two, million dollars with a cap of a five million dollar valuation so that money knows at least the the minimum amount of the company that it's going to own and then so if you do that as a seed round and then follow that relatively closely with a series a that you want to have at a higher price maybe 10 or 15 million dollars the investors who are trying to leave the series a round 
don't like the fact that the seed investors are getting this big, big percentage of the company at a lower price at the same time that they're getting a smaller percentage at the higher price. So, so if it's a quarter of a million dollars as a note, that's fine. But if it's a couple million dollars and you're going to need more money after that, then you get in a situation where it's very difficult to raise follow-on capital. Mm, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's kind a like small a amount factor. people will overlook, and I think that's the bottom line. Okay. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Yeah, and I think that, you. you know, I mean, the, the cap on the price of conversion is a pretty standard term. In, in the super hot era, in super hot companies, uh, people raised seized rounds that had uncapped conversion. And but but the seed investors hated that, um, and I think that the the ability to raise that kind of money has gone away. Okay, and you understand why because you know if you have a super hot company and it's an untapped conversion price, and you have met a lot of milestones in let's say the six to twelve eighteen months that pass between that seed round and your A, they they could end up having to pay for that success you've had in the interim and they put gave you the money at the beginning so there's a right. fairness to the seed investor who's taking greater risk with their capital the convertibility feature is positive in that they're not sending in a naturally uh, off market price so i think this has kind of come to the market as now a hybrid and i think you know, as long as you're not raising too much money this should be kind of meeting in the middle okay the idea of this conversion with the cap and not too much capital Right, right. But you would just want to think about the series of rounds that you're going to raise at, at what's a reasonable price that those, they could be priced at. And are the people who invested the money in the prior rounds going to be happy when that new round happens? Because you okay. want the seed investors to be really psyched that the Series A came and gave them a little step up and the Series B gets a step up to the Series A. So, and that also keeps you from being too diluted. Um, but you just keep keep the amount of capital and the price kind of right sized as you go along. Thank you. Yeah, that was helpful. So I think you guys also had some product feedback for us. Yeah, just a couple of things. We love the concept of your product. The idea that you know I'm opening a link in a sandbox. It's 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 really appealing. A couple of things, and Zuli, you and I talked about this offline. At one point. Uh, when the when we got feedback from the system that the server was temporarily down, as Google's are, as an example, this is not limited to small companies. Um, we suggested that when you came back, you accurately said the service was down and it was sort of serious. We suggested ingesting a little humor in that message, like "Oops, server down." We get it. Check back soon. Um, so just look at your peers in that regard. That was just a simple thing. You you were handling your customers very very carefully. The other question was, and and something that you'll be thinking about in your roadmap. In the last call, you identified enterprise as your goal. You're starting with Firefox, um, and these are web links that are open. Directionally thinking about obviously other browsers. Number one. And then will you eventually open in other documents like Office, et cetera? Because that's a lot of where the average worker is going to be opening yeah. things that have malware yeah. attached. And we'd love to have that service live. So those are kind of the general feedback. My guess is these are well in your roadmap. <laughs> but in any event, we like the start. And basically, our feedback was we'd love to have it in more places. And by the way, also including um, Flash, so it could be used really fun. Everything that we yeah. work on. Yeah, those are all things that are that are on our roadmap. Um, the the browsers we want to um, uh, support, so IE and Chrome, we want to support those. We also want to support mobile browsers. Um, we've gotten a right. lot of feedback from from potential customers that they really, you know, everybody's moving towards mobile. Um, so being able to support yeah. that is, is is big, and we can easily do that as well. Um, and it, eventually, also down the road, um, other operating systems. So we've gotten requests to, to support, you know, uh, Max as well. Our next move is to do email clients. So like Outlook, um, do the same thing, but for for Outlook and and other applications as and well. And the Office yep. documents. That's great. 
Well, you guys are so awesome. Good luck with your pitch. We'd love to look at it offline. And okay. then I think the next topic we should talk about is perhaps thinking more about enterprise go-to-market. You clearly have the enterprise you know, customer in mind. We can tell. You're being thoughtful about your financing. So now let's talk about how to take that financing and get to your, get to your customers. We look forward to talking about that. Thank, Thank you so thanks much. so much for your feedback. All Thank the best. You.